We're here at D. Waldron's farm in Morgan, Utah at a scan site. This is an NRCS scan site behind us in, uh, with two sets of soil moisture sensors, one here at the dry site and one in the corn behind us. Scan sites are self-supported energy-wise. They uh, run on solar power only. They can be uh, sited anywhere. Scan sites provide critical weather information to the farmer including precipitation, uh, wind speed and direction, dew point, relative humidity, uh, so, and solar radiation in addition to the soil climate information. Scan data are collected hourly and sent to a computer in Portland, Oregon through our antenna using Meteor Burst technology, the same technology that Snow, the Snowtail program uses, and it's available on the, on the internet within the hour. Go to the USDA uh, webpage and then to the NRCS webpage and search for SCAN there and you'll be able to find the uh, closest site to you. The value of the information coming from the SCAN site is tremendous to agriculture and to me as a farmer. As I look at the graphs and stuff, I can tell how much soil moisture I have if I'm at 30% or 50%. I try never to get below the uh, a 40% soil moisture before I water again. We try to keep it above that and it tells us how much soil moisture there is in one square foot of the ground. And so I use that technology to determine when I need to water this the next time. This is a graph that Kent brought with him and what it is is the soil, soil moisture in the cornfield that I have where that uh, scan site is. Well, this graph of scan data uh, includes not only the, the soil moisture percent by volume line at two different depths in D's cornfield, but it also includes a line that uh, depends on the soil type, and this is where the soil science enters in. These lines, horizontal lines, represent the ideal vol uh, volumetric soil moisture content for that corn. And what D has been able to do is keep his uh, soil moisture levels right at those lines, at those two different depths where the corn's growing. This allows him to get A, the best corn crop, but also um, allows him to, to trim and modify this year uh, irrigation scheduling and duration and timing to uh, get the best corn crop using the least amount of water. And what it did is it made a big difference on the corn crop that we produced down here. It was probably the best crop we've ever had on that farm since I've owned it. And so it, it, it's really been beneficial to us to pay attention to these new ideas and these new technology, and it's helped us a lot as an agriculture producer.